Question 1. In the context of running SAP workloads on AWS, what is one of the key benefits of leveraging AWS's global infrastructure? A. Limited scalability options. B. Reduced network latency. C. Increased deployment complexity. D. Higher operational costs. The correct answer is B. Reduced network latency. Explanation. One of the key benefits of leveraging AWS's global infrastructure for running SAP workloads is reduced network latency. AWS operates a global network of data centers and edge locations, allowing you to deploy SAP instances closer to end users and reduce the time it takes for data to travel between the application and the users. This results in improved performance and responsiveness for SAP applications, enhancing user experience and productivity. Question 2. Mr. Anderson is responsible for migrating an existing SAP landscape to AWS. Which architectural consideration should Mr. Anderson prioritize to ensure optimal performance and scalability? A. Deploying all SAP components on a single EC2 instance. B. Choosing instance types with minimal resources. C. Utilizing Amazon RDS for SAP HANA. D. Implementing auto-scaling to adjust capacity based on demand. The correct answer is D. Implementing auto-scaling to adjust capacity based on demand. Explanation. Mr. Anderson should prioritize implementing auto-scaling to adjust capacity based on demand to ensure optimal performance and scalability when migrating an existing SAP landscape to AWS. Auto-scaling allows AWS resources, such as Amazon EC2 instances, to automatically adjust capacity to accommodate changes in workload demand. Question 3. When considering the architectural considerations for running SAP workloads on AWS, which of the following is a best practice to ensure high availability and fault tolerance? A. Deploying SAP instances on a single availability zone. B. Utilizing AWS Elastic Load Balancing for Traffic Distribution. C. Running SAP databases on an unsupported version D. Sharing critical resources with non-SAP workloads. The correct answer is B. Utilizing AWS Elastic Load Balancing for Traffic Distribution. Explanation. Utilizing AWS Elastic Load Balancing, ELB, for traffic distribution is a best practice for ensuring high availability and fault tolerance when running SAP workloads on AWS. ELB automatically distributes incoming application traffic across multiple targets, such as Amazon EC2 instances, to ensure that no single point of failure affects the availability of the application. Question 4. Which AWS service is commonly used for running SAP HANA workloads with large memory requirements? A. Amazon EC2 instances. B. AWS Lambda. C. Amazon RDS. D. Amazon Aurora. The correct answer is A. Amazon EC2 instances. Explanation. Amazon EC2 instances provide resizable compute capacity in the cloud and are commonly used for running SAP HANA workloads, especially those with large memory requirements. EC2 instances offer various instance types optimized for different use cases, including memory-optimized instances suitable for SAP HANA. With EC2, users can scale their compute resources as needed to meet the demands of SAP applications. Question 5. A company is looking for a durable and scalable storage solution for their SAP backups and archives. Which AWS service would be most suitable for this requirement? A. Amazon EBS. B. Amazon S3. C. Amazon EFS. D. AWS Lambda. The correct answer is B. Amazon S3. Explanation. Amazon S3, Simple Storage Service, is an object storage service designed for durability, scalability, and high availability. 
It is commonly used for storing backups, archives, and other data that requires long-term retention. With features such as versioning, lifecycle policies, and cross-region replication, Amazon S3 offers a reliable solution for storing SAP backups and archives securely in the cloud. Question 6. When considering architectural considerations for SAP on AWS, what is a key benefit of utilizing AWS's global infrastructure? A. Reduced latency for SAP transactions. B. Increased security for SAP databases. C. Lower costs for SAP licensing. D. Simplified management of SAP applications. The correct answer is A. Reduced latency for SAP transactions. Explanation. One of the key benefits of utilizing AWS's global infrastructure for SAP workloads is reduced latency for SAP transactions. AWS operates a global network of data centers across multiple geographic regions, allowing organizations to deploy SAP systems closer to their users or customers. Question 7. A company wants to establish a secure and private network environment for their SAP systems running on AWS. Which AWS service would they use to create isolated virtual networks? A. Amazon EBS. B. AWS Lambda. C. Amazon VPC. D. Direct Connect. The correct answer is C. Amazon VPC. Explanation. Amazon VPC, Virtual Private Cloud allows users to create isolated virtual networks within the AWS cloud. It provides control over network settings, including IP addressing, subnets, route tables, and network gateways, enabling users to establish a secure and private network environment for their SAP systems. Amazon VPC ensures that SAP workloads remain isolated from other resources and networks, enhancing security and compliance. Question 8. In the context of SAP on AWS, what is a common approach to achieving high availability and fault tolerance for SAP systems? A. Deploying SAP systems in a single AWS availability zone. B. Utilizing OS auto-scaling for SAP instances. C. Implementing SAP HANA as the primary database. D. Deploying SAP systems across multiple AWS availability zones. The correct answer is D, deploying SAP systems across multiple AWS availability zones. Explanation. A common approach to achieving high availability and fault tolerance for SAP systems on AWS is deploying SAP systems across multiple AWS availability zones, AZs. An AWS availability zone is a distinct location within a region that is engineered to be isolated from failures in other AZs. Question 9. In the context of running SAP workloads on AWS, what is a significant advantage of leveraging AWS's pay-as-you-go pricing model? A. Predictable monthly costs for SAP licensing. B. Reduced upfront investment in hardware infrastructure. C. Unlimited scalability for SAP instances. D. Enhanced security features for SAP applications. The correct answer is B. Reduced upfront investment in hardware infrastructure. Explanation. A significant advantage of leveraging AWS's pay-as-you-go pricing model for running SAP workloads is the reduced upfront investment in hardware infrastructure. With AWS, organizations can provision the compute, storage, and networking resources they need for their SAP systems on demand, without having to purchase and maintain costly hardware upfront. Question 10. A company is looking for a highly available and scalable database solution for their SAP applications. Which AWS service would be most suitable for hosting their SAP database? A. Amazon EBS. B. Amazon S3. C. Amazon RDS. D. Amazon EFS. The correct answer is C. Amazon RDS. Explanation. Amazon RDS, 
Relational Database Service is a managed database service that provides scalable, high-performance databases for SAP and other applications. RDS supports several database engines, including SAP certified options such as SAP HANA, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, and PostgreSQL. Question 11. A company wants to store frequently accessed data for their SAP applications with low latency access. Which AWS storage solution would be most suitable for this requirement? A. Amazon EBS. B. Amazon S3. C. Amazon EFS. D. Amazon Glacier. The correct answer is A. Amazon EBS. Explanation. Amazon EBS, Elastic Block Store, provides block-level storage volumes that can be attached to Amazon EC2 instances. It is suitable for storing frequently accessed data with low latency access requirements, such as SAP application data and transaction logs. EBS volumes offer consistent performance and durability, making them an ideal choice for primary storage needs within SAP environments where high-performance storage is essential. Question 12. A company wants to optimize their SAP workload for cost efficiency by leveraging serverless computing. Which AWS service would they consider using for this purpose? A. Amazon EC2 instances. B. AWS Lambda. C. Amazon RDS. D. Amazon Aurora. The correct answer is B. AWS Lambda. Explanation. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that allows users to run code without provisioning or managing servers. While Lambda is not typically used for running SAP workloads directly, it can be leveraged for executing certain tasks or functions within the SAP environment, such as data processing, file transformation, or triggering automated actions. Question 13. When planning a migration of SAP workloads to AWS, what is a recommended strategy for minimizing downtime and data loss during the migration process? A. Lift and shift migration. B. Rehosting using AWS Server Migration Service. C. Retire legacy SAP systems before migration. D. Implementing phased migration approach. The correct answer is D, implementing phased migration approach. Explanation. Implementing a phased migration approach is a recommended strategy for minimizing downtime and data loss during the migration of SAP workloads to AWS. A phased migration involves migrating SAP systems and data in stages, starting with non-critical or less complex systems and gradually moving towards more critical systems. Question 14. A company wants to implement security best practices for their SAP solution on AWS. Which of the following measures is not a recommended security best practice for SAP on AWS? A. Enabling encryption for data at rest and in transit. B. Restricting access to SAP systems using IAM rules and policies. C. Storing sensitive data in plain text within EC2 instances. D. Implementing network segmentation using Amazon VPC and security groups. The correct answer is C. Storing sensitive data in plain text within EC2 instances. Explanation. Storing sensitive data in plain text within EC2 instances poses a significant security risk and violates security best practices. It is essential to encrypt data at rest and in transit using encryption mechanisms provided by AWS services such as Amazon RDS, Amazon S3, and OS KMS. Additionally, restricting access to SAP systems using IAM roles and policies. Question 15. A company wants to ensure scalability and elasticity for their SAP application on AWS. Which AWS service can help them automatically adjust compute capacity based on demand? A. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling. B. AWS Lambda. C. Amazon S3. D. AWS Fargate. 
The correct answer is A. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling. Explanation. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling allows users to automatically adjust the number of EC2 instances in response to changing demand for their SAP application. By defining scaling policies based on metrics such as CPU utilization or network traffic, EC2 Auto Scaling can dynamically add or remove instances to maintain performance and optimize costs. Question 16. In the context of SAP NetWeaver deployment scenarios on AWS, what is a common use case for utilizing Amazon RDS for SAP? A. Hosting SAP Fiori applications. B. Running SAP Business Objects Reporting. C. Managing SAP HANA Databases. D. Deploying SAP ECC Central Systems. The correct answer is C. Managing SAP HANA Databases. Explanation. A common use case for utilizing Amazon RDS for SAP is managing SAP HANA databases. Amazon RDS, Relational Database Service, for SAP HANA offers a managed database service that simplifies the provisioning, management, and maintenance of SAP HANA databases on AWS. Question 17. A company is designing a highly available SAP solution on AWS and wants to ensure fault tolerance for their SAP HANA database. Which AWS service should they use to automatically replicate their database across multiple availability zones? A. Amazon EC2 B. Amazon RDS C. Amazon S3 D. Amazon EFS The correct answer is B. Amazon RDS. Explanation. Amazon RDS, Relational Database Service, provides automated backup and replication features, allowing users to create replicas of their databases across multiple availability zones for fault tolerance and high availability. By using Amazon RDS for their SAP HANA database, the company can leverage features such as multi-AS deployments to ensure that their database remains accessible in the event of a hardware failure or service disruption within a single availability zone. Question 18. A company is planning to deploy their SAP solution on AWS and wants to ensure high availability for their critical business processes. Which AWS service can they use to distribute incoming traffic across multiple AWS regions for improved fault tolerance? A. Amazon Route 53. B. Amazon CloudFront. C. AWS Global Accelerator. D. AWS Direct Connect. The correct answer is C. AWS Global Accelerator. Explanation. AWS Global Accelerator is a service that improves the availability and performance of your applications with local or global users. It provides static IP addresses that act as a fixed entry point to your application endpoints in one or more AWS regions. By distributing incoming traffic across multiple AWS regions, AWS Global Accelerator improves fault tolerance and ensures high availability for critical business processes, making it an ideal choice for deploying SAP solutions on AWS. Question 19. When considering SAP HANA deployment options on AWS, what is a key benefit of utilizing Amazon EC2 instances with Amazon EBS volumes? A. Reduced licensing costs for SAP HANA. B. Improved scalability and performance. C. Simplified management of SAP landscapes. D. Enhanced security for SAP applications. The correct answer is B. Improved scalability and performance. Explanation. Utilizing Amazon EC2 instances with Amazon EBS volumes for SAP HANA deployment offers improved scalability and performance. Amazon EC2 provides resizable compute capacity, allowing organizations to scale SAP HANA instances up or down based on workload requirements. Question 20. When considering SAP HANA deployment options on AWS, what is a key advantage of utilizing Amazon EC2 instances with SAP HANA? A. 
automatic scalability based on workload demand. B. Fixed pricing with no additional costs for SAP HANA. C. Guaranteed performance with dedicated hardware D. Flexibility to choose instance types and sizes. The correct answer is D. Flexibility to choose instance types and sizes. Explanation. One of the key advantages of utilizing Amazon EC2 instances for SAP HANA deployment on AWS is the flexibility to choose instance types and sizes. With Amazon EC2, organizations can select the most suitable instance types and sizes based on their specific performance, memory, and storage requirements for SAP HANA workloads. Question 21. A company is designing a scalable architecture for their SAP application on AWS and wants to leverage serverless computing. Which AWS service allows them to run code in response to events without provisioning or managing servers? A. Amazon EC2 B. AWS Lambda C. Amazon RDS D. Amazon Aurora The correct answer is B. AWS Lambda. Explanation. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that allows you to run code in response to events such as changes to data in Amazon S3 buckets, updates to DynamoDB tables, or HTTP requests via Amazon API Gateway without provisioning or managing servers. Question 22. In the context of SAP NetWeaver deployment scenarios on AWS, what is a common approach for achieving high availability and fault tolerance? A. Utilizing multiple Amazon RDS instances for SAP databases. B. Deploying SAP NetWeaver on a single Amazon EC2 instance. C. Implementing Amazon Aurora as the primary database for SAP NetWeaver D. Deploying SAP NetWeaver on multiple Amazon EC2 instances in an auto-scaling group. The correct answer is D. Deploying SAP NetWeaver on multiple Amazon EC2 instances in an auto-scaling group. Explanation. A common approach for achieving high availability and fault tolerance in SAP NetWeaver deployment scenarios on AWS is deploying SAP NetWeaver on multiple Amazon EC2 instances in an auto-scaling group. Question 23. A company wants to implement data encryption for their SAP HANA database running on AWS. Which AWS service can they use to centrally manage encryption keys and ensure data confidentiality? A. Amazon EC2 B. Oz KMS Key Management Service C. Amazon S3 D. AWS Certificate Manager The correct answer is B, Oz KMS, Key Management Service. Explanation. Oz KMS, Key Management Service, is a managed service that allows you to create and control encryption keys used to encrypt your data. By using AWS KMS, the company can centrally manage encryption keys and ensure data confidentiality for their SAP HANA database on AWS. KMS integrates with various AWS services, including Amazon RDS, to encrypt data at rest and in transit, providing an additional layer of security for sensitive information. Question 24. A company wants to reduce costs associated with their SAP workloads on AWS without sacrificing performance. Which cost optimization strategy should they consider implementing? A. Downsizing EC2 instance types to lower cost options. B. Increasing the number of EC2 instances to handle peak loads. C. Enabling AWS Cost Explorer to track spending patterns. D. Disabling auto-scaling to avoid unexpected usage spikes. The correct answer is A. Downsizing EC2 instance types to lower cost options. Explanation. Downsizing EC2 instance types to lower cost options is a cost optimization strategy that can help reduce expenses without sacrificing performance. By analyzing resource utilization patterns and selecting appropriately sized instances based on workload requirements, 
the company can achieve cost savings while maintaining the desired level of performance. Question 25. When planning the migration of SAP workloads to AWS, what is a critical factor to consider to ensure minimal disruption to business operations? A. Performing the migration during peak business hours. B. Conducting thorough performance testing before migration. C. Avoiding any changes to the existing SAP landscape. D. Implementing a rollback plan in case of migration issues. The correct answer is B. Conducting thorough performance testing before migration. Explanation. A critical factor to consider when planning the migration of SAP workloads to AWS is conducting thorough performance testing before migration. Performance testing allows organizations to assess the performance, scalability, and reliability of SAP workloads on AWS infrastructure before migrating critical production systems. Question 26. A company is experiencing slow performance in their SAP workloads on AWS. Which AWS service can they use to analyze and optimize performance bottlenecks in their infrastructure? A. AWS Cost Explorer. B. Amazon CloudWatch. C. AWS Trusted Advisor. D. AWS X-Ray. The correct answer is D. AWS X-Ray. Explanation. Oz X-Ray is a service that helps developers analyze and debug distributed applications, including those running on AWS. It allows users to trace requests as they travel through various components of their applications, identifying performance bottlenecks and areas for optimization. Question 27. A company wants to implement a cost-effective backup solution for their SAP databases on AWS. Which AWS service offers a cost-effective solution for storing backup data? A. Amazon S3 Glacier. B. Amazon EC2. C. AWS Lambda. D. Amazon RDS. The correct answer is A. Amazon S3 Glacier. Explanation. Amazon S3 Glacier is a low-cost storage service designed for long-term data archiving and backup. It offers durable and secure storage at a significantly lower cost compared to standard Amazon S3 storage classes. By using Amazon S3 Glacier, the company can implement a cost-effective backup solution for their SAP databases on AWS while ensuring data durability and compliance with regulatory requirements. Question 28. In monitoring SAP applications on AWS, which AWS service is commonly used to collect and analyze performance metrics, logs, and alarms? A. AWS Config. B. AWS CloudTrail. C. AWS CloudWatch D. AWS X-Ray. The correct answer is C. AWS CloudWatch. Explanation. AWS CloudWatch is the service commonly used for monitoring SAP applications on AWS. CloudWatch allows users to collect and track performance metrics, logs, and alarms from various AWS resources, including EC2 instances, EBS volumes, and RDS databases. Question 29. A company is deploying SAP on AWS and needs to ensure secure access control for their SAP systems. Which AWS service should they use to manage identities and permissions for accessing SAP resources? A. Amazon S3. B. Oz IAM. Identity and Access Management. C. AWS CloudTrail. D. AWS Config. The correct answer is B, Oz IAM, Identity and Access Management. Explanation. Oz IAM, Identity and Access Management, is the correct choice for managing identities and permissions for accessing SAP resources on AWS. IAM allows organizations to securely control access to AWS services and resources by creating and managing users, groups, and roles. Question 30. 
A company needs to encrypt data in transit and at rest to comply with regulatory requirements for their SAP workloads on AWS. Which AWS service provides encryption capabilities to help meet compliance requirements? A. Amazon EC2 B. Amazon S3C Amazon RDS D. Oz KMS Key Management Service The correct answer is D. Oz KMS Key Management Service Explanation Oz KMS Key Management Service provides encryption capabilities to help organizations meet compliance requirements for data protection. With OS KMS, users can create and manage encryption keys to encrypt data in transit and at rest. By integrating AWS KMS with services such as Amazon RDS and Amazon S3, the company can encrypt sensitive data to comply with regulatory standards and protect their SAP workloads on AWS.